Veritrac 55 TS1 test set is designed specifically for testing Westinghouse Veritrac equipment. It will furnish a precision 1 to 5 volt signal for voltage inputs to high impedance devices. As a receiver, it will measure output voltage from low output impedance devices. It is suitable for use in class 1, group D, hazardous locations when used in conjunction with other intrinsically safe equipment. When sending a signal, the lower half or signal section of the selector switch is used. When used as a receiver, the null half of the selector switch is used. The two BC positions of the selector switch are common and are used for battery check purposes. To battery check, turn the selector switch to a BC position and push the red button. The meter should read past the battery OK mark. If it reads below the battery OK line, the battery must be changed. It is imperative that the correct battery be used, otherwise the intrinsically safe feature may be destroyed. To replace the battery, Remove the two screws from the back of the test set. Carefully remove the back of the test set and remove the battery. Install the new battery observing polarity as shown on the decal in the test set. Replace the cover and tighten the two screws. The test set has five positions in the signal section, marked zero, twenty five, fifty. seventy five and one hundred. This corresponds to one, two, three, four, and five volts of signal output, as shown here in table one. The selector position numbers represent percent of span. Look at position 50. In the voltage column, this is 3 volts of signal output. The Veritrac instruments receive a 1 to 5 volt signal from the input module. Three volts is 50% of the one to five volt span. There are also five selector positions in the null half of the test set. This is the signal receiving section. The numbers represent the percent of the 4 to 20 milliampere output span of the device being tested. The meter, however, is strictly a null meter. With the selector set at 50 in the null section, it takes 12 milliamperes to create a 3 volt drop across a precision resistor in the circuit. A 
as shown in the right-hand column, transmitter outputs of 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20 milliamps can be tested. To check a Veritrack transmitter output with a test set, first be sure the null meter is at mechanical zero. And then test the battery. Plug the 90 degree end of the test lead into the transmitter jack. and plug the straight end of the test lead into the test set. Having zero differential on the transmitter, set the selector at zero in the null section and push the red button. This is the test for four milliamps output. If the needle deflects to the left, the output is too low or below 4 milliamps. If it deflects to the right, the output is too high. When the meter reads zero, the 4 milliamps transmitter output is correct to 0.1% of the 4 to 20 milliampere span. We have changed the meter reading by adjusting the transmitter zero. With 100% input to the transmitter, turn the selector to 100 in the null section and push the red button. This is the test for 20 milliamperes output. Adjustments are made with the span adjustment. For now, our objective is to learn about the use of the test set and not the calibration of the transmitter. The null section can be used to measure other outputs, such as from a controller's set point. For example, to test for 50% output, set the selector to 50 and depress the button adjust as necessary to null the meter. When the test set is used as a signal generator, the lower half of the selector is used. Select the input voltage desired and depress the red button. For a 1 to 5 volt module, the numbers represent percent of span. 0% gives a one volt input signal to the recorder. The null meter will not deflect when the test set is used as a signal generator. It is not in the circuit. With the selector set at 50 and the red button depressed, the input to the recorder is three volts. It should read 50% scale. The 55TS1 is a premium built test set. No circuit adjustments or repair attempt should be made in the field. If local repairs are made, a shop having special test equipment is necessary. We will get more practice with the test set in other segments. Now work exercise number two in your workbook.